I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's the end of an incredible era. Oh, hi, Mark. What's up, Fichero fam? Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to experience everything my life has to offer. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the legendary 99 cent only store, which is right behind me, the entire train is officially closing. <laughs> Now, I want to stress right in the beginning of this video, this is not just your typical dollar store. This is the most legendary dollar store chain that exists on the West Coast. Uh, this may be the last time I ever go here. Now, I started coming to this store in 2016 when I first moved to LA and I had no money. I was so broke. And the craziest thing about this store is not only do they have like typical items like in a dollar store, they're just knickknacks but tons of phenomenal items that even if they're not a dollar are still insanely cheap whether it's you know produce food random party items electronics everything like this drink the pache one dollar last time i saw this at a different store it was like three bucks in case you don't know pache super underrated it's kind of like almost like a Mexican kombucha is the best way I can describe it. So good. I'll also snag this. Boltwood Farms, 100% carrot juice, a few bucks. <sighs> Insane. <laughs> this whole bag of spinach, $1.50. This same exact bag at like Ralph's or a grocery store here in the Los Angeles area is like, I don't know, three or $4. For the same exact bag, same exact bag. Got some coconut water, especially with the electrolytes. Love having this stuff after like a workout or let's say if it's super hot out, you know, just get properly hydrated. Yeah. I don't know why almonds are like so expensive. Maybe there's an exact reason, but a dollar for a pack of almonds, I mean, so insane. One thing I like about the 99 cent only store compared to other stores is, it's gonna sound weird to say, but most stores, you kind of know what to expect. You know what's gonna be here. With the 99 cent only store, you never know. I've come here before and seen items that were 10 or $15 at another store here for a dollar, right? And you never know whether, like I said, it's an electronic, like a random toy, you know, a, uh, a computer thing, and of course food and whatnot, it's, it's insane. <laughs> Here's what's awesome as well is the electronic section like I talked about earlier. Not all these are 99 cents, but even the ones that aren't are still super cheap like this, $3 for that. <laughs> what is this, a $2 for a Rubik's Cube earbud? Oh, I might get these actually. You know what, that's kind of cool. My record right now for a Rubik's Cube, I think is like 57 seconds. So got sub one minute, but then we have a bunch of other things here. Some of them are already kind of selling out like a tripod for two bucks. It's kind of small, but you know, I've used that exact tripod to film like fitness videos and other videos for YouTube. And then we have a bunch of like books and different items here, some hardware stuff. So I got a copper pillow and a bamboo pillow, $10 each, right? I mean, yeah, maybe, or I'd say a good amount of products aren't exactly 99 cents. Um, but even the ones that aren't, like I said, are still, such a crazy deal. Cheers. Can have some coconut water. Not gonna lie. I only bought a few things. I didn't really need like that much stuff, to be honest. But I was like, you know what? I gotta come here considering they're closing. Do kind of like a uh, a tribute video to the iconic and legendary. 99 cent only store because you know like i said briefly when i first moved to la i first heard about it right i remember going there for the first time in 2016 in 2016 which is crazy to say too i'm very transparent in all my videos 
I made literally, not exaggerating, seventeen to eighteen thousand dollars in one year. That was my yearly salary in 2016. It was the first year I could fully live off my YouTube earnings and my music earnings and everything. And I felt like super rich. As funny as that is to say, because I'm like, wait a minute, all this money I'm making is for my own like personal stuff, my music and my videos, people streaming and downloading my music, people watching my videos and stuff like that. And the way, or one of the ways I was able to survive on such little money is to go to the 99 cent only store. And then when what I would do is I would buy four items. That was kind of my like limit. Every day I could go, spend only $4. Typically what I did is I would get one item that's like usually vegetables, right? Just to be as healthy as possible. And the other three items could be anything I wanted. And I remember feeling like super rich because like I showed you in this video, like it's crazy how many things in the 99 cent store are only a dollar. Even the ones that aren't a dollar, even if it's like two bucks or like I showed you that bag of spinach being a dollar fifty. That same exact bag anywhere else, like four bucks. So the amount of money you save by going to the 99 cent store is insane. And I went there, I'm not exaggerating, in like 2016, 17, 18, almost every day. I grew to like love going there because like I said, you never know what you're going to find. Like it's it's insane because I've even gotten like protein tubs there for like five bucks. That, that same exact tub of protein, really solid protein powder would be like $30 at another store. Can't believe they're closing. You know, I did do some research. Turns out after COVID, they just couldn't really get back on their feet, so to speak. And they were like, hey, sorry, we got to close all the stores. But just got to say, shout out to the 99 cent only store. I want to stress, I know a lot of people might think, you know, like I said, what about Dollar Tree? Another 99 cent stores. No, this is the best, by far, the best and most epic 99 cent store that's ever existed. I look at it, which I think a decent analogy it's like the in and out of 99 cent stores. It really only exists on the West Coast. It's, you know, a chain, but really, again, located on the West Coast of America. And I got to say, shout out to definitely the greatest dollar store of all time.